Yesterday, the Amy Coney Barrett hearings in the Senate Judiciary Committee wrapped, and this is how the top Democrat on that committee, Senator Dianne Feinstein, reacted to Trump's nominee that he's forcing through, and the GOP is, and could jeopardize democracy, health care, and women's rights for decades to come. Mr. Chairman, I just want to thank you. Uh, this has been one of the best set of hearings that I've participated in, and I want to thank you for your fairness and the opportunity of going back and forth. It leaves one with a lot of hopes, a lot of questions, and even some ideas, perhaps some good bipartisan legislation thank we you. can put together to make this great country even better. So thank you thank so you. much for your leadership. Gotta love the reminder that all of this is just kabuki theater for all of the Republicans and many of the Democrats who are so removed from the consequences of their actions on the American people that, oh, let's just embrace Lindsey Graham, who displayed the most shameful, obvious hypocrisy in the past, I don't know, 50 years in politics, where he said, you could call me out if we try to ram through a Supreme Court nominee in the final year of Donald Trump's presidency. And he did just that, and it doesn't matter. I mean, how easily was Feinstein lulled into a sleep by Amy Coney Barrett's soft voice and calm demeanor and the fact that, oh my God, she didn't write anything on the notepad. That's all it takes to throw away potentially decades and decades of democratic proposals. She's going to strip away the ACA. I have no doubt about it. A six to three conservative majority and say we had some sort of progressive president in, in 2024. Let's dream for a bit. Medicare for all. You think Amy Coney Barrett is going to uphold Medicare for all on the Supreme Court? <laughs> If, if by some miracle it gets through, Republicans will challenge it in the courts and it will go up and up and up and they'll appeal to the Supreme Court. And then what do you know? Your health care is going to be privatized for the rest of your life. That's a really potentially real scenario. And Dianne Feinstein's just like, oh, Lindsay, you're the best. Thank you so much. Democrats called Barrett an extreme nominee cut from the cloth of Scalia who would vote to curtail health care, abortion rights, worker rights, and gun restrictions, among other things. They railed against the rush process as illegitimate and a sham, especially after Republicans blocked President Barack Obama from appointing a Supreme Court justice in a similar election year. While Feinstein echoed other Democrats in opposing Barrett, the top Democrat on the committee took a more conciliatory tone throughout the hearing, welcoming her warmly as questioning began on Tuesday. It's wonderful to see you here, Feinstein told Barrett. After an exchange with Barrett about the Affordable Care Act, Feinstein praised the nominee, saying Barrett's answer left her really impressed. Ugh. Democrats reacted to the 87-year-old senator's handling of the hearing and her praise of Graham, a top Trump ally who was on the ballot in November. By the way, yeah, just giving Graham a win going into a very close election with Jamie Harrison with anger and dismay. It's very hard to watch a colleague in decline. That this is occurring publicly is even harder, said one Democratic senator who spoke on the condition of anonymity. That is a very strong statement. Brian Fallon, founder and executive director of Demand Justice, a progressive judicial advocacy group that urged Democrats to play hardball during the hearings, went further by calling for Feinstein's removal from the Senate Judiciary Committee. She has undercut Democrats' position at every step of this process, from undermining calls for filibuster and court reform straight through to thanking Republicans for the most egregious partisan power grab in the modern history of the Supreme Court, Fallon said in the statement. To have a Democratic senator speak on the condition of an anonymity and talk about Feinstein's decline? That says a lot about her handling of this process. Now, it's not over, obviously. Goes to the, the general Senate for a vote. But Feinstein did immense damage here. With praising Lindsey Graham and praising Amy Coney Barrett. This is the leadership in the Democratic Party. She's one of the most powerful people in the country. And that should scare everybody.